red light. Mary, his mother, dissing him to sleep. While snow was falling so soft and deep. It happened long, long ago in a faraway place called Bethlehem. Some shepherds were watching over their sheep in the fields outside the town. It was very quiet and still. As the sheep slept, a beautiful bright star moved across the night sky. Suddenly, as the shepherds watched, the sky lit up. High above them, angels appeared, surrounded by light. Their heavenly voices filled the air.
heard the voice saying, Do not be afraid. I have good news for you all. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, the Christ child has been born. Baby Jesus was sent to show what God's love is like. Follow the bright star to his stable. Shepherds followed the star. The shepherds followed the star until at last it shone upon a small stable. The shepherds stopped and their sheep stopped too, for there in the stable was a baby lying on a bed of hay. was God's son. They knelt down and prayed as Mary and Joseph watched close by. Sweet head, the 
stars in the sky looked down where he laid the little Lord Jesus asleep on the head. <laughs> Then from the east came three wise men. They came to the stable and seeing the baby Jesus lying in a manger. They knelt down and prayed. Then they gave beautiful gifts to the baby. Animals in the stable gave baby Jesus their special gifts too.
darkness came three poor boys with their drums. what happened in Bethlehem when the Christ child was born. It is our favorite story because it reminds us of why we are so happy at this time of year. Love was the gift God gave to us on the first Christmas, and it still is, you know.
Wow, wasn't that impressive? One more round of applause. Why don't we all have a seat for a minute? I want to make sure that we acknowledge some of the hard work and do some special thank yous um, to our teachers. Boys and girls, you may have a seat too, and we'll let you go in just one minute. Um, I, I mean, there's so much that needs, that goes into a performance like this um, to, to just elicit the, 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 the precious, precious um, way that they tell this beautiful, beautiful story. And um, it takes an awful lot of work. So before I uh, move on to the teachers, I do want to uh, give a very special shout out to our narrators. Um, we choose narrators every year who are siblings of our kindergarten students. So this year we have Canon Lovelace up here and we have Rosemary Aravena. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> This project actually starts um, about the day after we finish Grandparents' Day. Um, we have to start preparing, we have to start learning songs, um, learning just about the staging and things, and there is so much that goes on in the classroom um, that, that um, engages the students in this story, but in a variety of other classroom skill-based ways. And a lot of those things are on display right now out in our lobby. So if you get a moment, um, just take, take a minute or two to look at the, the beautiful um, work that the children have done as they've been preparing for this production um, in their classrooms as well. None of this would come together without the work and the dedication um, of our teachers in the kindergarten. So I would like to invite all six of our kindergarten teachers out to receive a special thank you from all of us. We have Anna Schaefer, Catherine Barnhill, Nicole Hunter, Virginia Pulaski, Kathy Richardson, and Stephanie Hughes. Come on out, teachers. Boys and girls, while they're getting their flowers, will you just give them a special round of applause, yourselves? Good job. We have some of the finest, most dedicated um, teachers here at Heathwood Hall, and we really, really appreciate you, ladies. Um, two other very special people that we want to thank before we let the children um, move off of this stage. Um, the first is um, Janice Corley who has been here um, with us for most of our rehearsals. Janice was a former chorus teacher here at Heathwood, so she's got a long history as well. And she um, stepped in and was willing to come in and play for us. And she's accompanied by her um, partner in crime, her husband Larkin, who helps her with um, turning the pages of the music. So Janice, we would like to thank you very much. Um, is Melissa here? Okay. We do have um, a bouquet of flowers for Miss Melissa Brookshire. Um, Melissa works very closely with the kindergarten team. She's our art teacher, and um, she helps with all of the art projects. She has helped with all of the costumes, all of the staging, the, the stars, and everything. Her, her artistic touch is in um, every aspect of this play. So we do want to give Melissa a big round of applause. I can't see, are you back? Would you come on up, please? <laughs> and then we would also like to thank Miss Rebecca Burnett. Um, Mrs. Burnett is our music teacher and took over um, when Mrs. Um, Brian retired and inherited this Christmas play. And she has done an outstanding job year after year helping us just bring out the very best in these children. They've got very small bodies and very big voices, but she brings out the, those voices in the most melodious way. 
and we really do appreciate all of your hard work. This is a very busy season for Mrs. Burnett with all of our other events, but we, we want you to come up and let, let, um, let you know how much we really appreciate all that you do. Come on up, Rebecca.